The last 10 years in many ways replicated the efforts of those who'd come before. Research was still a major focus. More than 840 schools were now asthma friendly and a casual ride along a freeway on a sunny March morning seemed like a good idea to generate much needed revenue. But pressure had increased to maintain the momentum. Asthma Australia was evolving and the foundation not only wanted to play a major part, it also wanted to lead by example. Instead of really focusing in on a lot of the smaller events, we really tried to, over a period of time, develop a marquee event. Um, and we certainly found that with the freeway bike hike. That probably had one of the, the biggest impacts on the Foundation's financial um, ability to maintain its services from that. It was two years to actually get it on the road. Um, there was a lot of negotiation between the main roads and um, all the various shires that uh, went through that, um, through that area of the freeway because it was all, all the arterial roads that it would uh, interrupt as well. So a lot of negotiation, a lot of planning. Uh, we had to get the, um, obviously the police department involved in it as well with the, um, you know, the, the traffic control and so on. Several of the regular volunteers were asked to count those going off the train so they could work out how many were coming by trains and uh, for the railway people to work out the best way to get the majority in. It turned out they can get 300 in with bicycles. It was quite a, a thrill to be involved in it. Myself and my wife entered and, and we couldn't do the whole course but we, we did as much as we could and it was great to sort of get the, the, the support of so many people to enter the, uh, the bike hike. We had immediate success with it, had very um, significant numbers in the first year and then it continued to grow and, and I believe it's, uh, you know, it's going along great guns and it's a, it's a great fundraiser for the Foundation. So it was great to be you know, an initial part of that and, and great to see that the Foundation's been able to carry it forward and it really grow and develop as a, uh, as a major event for the Foundation. We moved into some other areas of fundraising. One of them was Hussey Hits Asthma for Six this season. Terrific prizes including autograph cricket bats and a river cruise on Jeff Marsh's Sunrunner Cruiser. So help me hit asthma for six. Contact the Foundation on 9 289 3600 for details. Similarly, an additional fundraising event was called Tackling Asthma. So that was a good winter mix with the cricket being run through the, the summer season. We've been very grateful in receiving government funding and support over many, many years, in particular, most recently, Lottery West. Uh, they've been particularly generous to our foundation and have set us up now for uh, an even brighter future. Probably the biggest thing is the refurbishment of the foundation and that's made a huge difference. So I look back to the old building and think, oh, gee. It really, really needed more than a paint job and now we have a beautiful premises and it's nice to bring people in here and, and be proud of the, the building. I feel like I'm part of a family here because I come in every Monday and I drop the money off for swimming and, and you know it's just been part of my life and I've got so many good memories and I intend to continue doing what I'm doing if the foundation lets me until I die. The Asthma Foundation provides a platform to get people into research to, and particularly into research into asthma. With the Vi Watson Scholarships, we have uh, students who can uh, come along and spend their uh, Christmas vacation uh, working in a lab, getting experience, and getting experience under the aegis of someone who's working in asthma. I think in the recent uh, years, we've probably funded more respiratory research than ever in our, in our history and that makes us extremely proud. Thank again all of those people that have helped us get to 50 years. Let's see if we can get to the next 50 years in an even better shape. The need for health is as present today as it was in 1964, as is our determination to honour all those who had the vision 50 years ago to make such a difference. Indeed, it's in their memory and on their efforts that we promise to deliver. <laughs>